In the headlines, Agriculture Minister asks Salisbury farmers to dwell on the future success of the industry as Meet the Farmers Tour continues. The Qualiho constituency receives $113,000 for housing repair and education. Hello and welcome to National Focus. I'm Kimani Senja. Stay tuned for details of the headline stories and others coming up. Welcome back. First up, the Honorable Minister for Agriculture, Food and Fisheries, Reginald Austri, is continuing to act on his promise to meet farmers across the country to discuss one-on-one -on -one plans for advancing the agriculture industry. Honorable Austri believes that change is necessary in order to see improvement in an industry which has operated in the same manner for over two decades. Last Thursday, Honorable Austri met with the farmers of Salisbury and explained to them the need to move to what is termed the banana model of managing crops. He noted that just as the banana unit was established to give particular attention to bananas, his ministry is considering doing the same for all crops currently grown, including potatoes, yams, and dasheen. Also of concern to the minister is the need to distinguish between small and commercial farmers. I believe we have two types of farmers, or we should have two types of farmers. We should have commercial farmers, that is farmers who produce on a large scale for the export market, and we should have a team of small farmers that should focus and concentrate on providing food for us, for the local market. Because clearly, you cannot treat them the same way. You cannot give a small farmer two bags of fertilizer and give the commercial farmer two bags of fertilizer. It's not making sense. You cannot give a small farmer a quarter of gram zone and give everybody a quarter of gram zone across the board. It cannot work like that. There has to be distinction in what you're doing and what is allotted to you. I cannot give a small farmer $3,000 and give the big farmer $3,000. It doesn't make any sense because the needs are different, the expense of the cultivation is different, and their work is different. Honorable Austri told the farmers of Salisbury that while this meeting is an opportunity to voice their concerns, the focus should be on solutions for the future success of the industry and not on dwelling on past failures. We have a country to build, we have a country to feed, we have an economy to fix. And so why we can lament on the past, but I think the bigger picture is what the future holds for us. And why we don't want to stifle anybody, we want to give you a freedom to speak and speak as much as you want. But I believe that Maria has washed away many of our sins. Maria has washed away many of the stuff in the river. And I believe it's time that we start afresh. We take over a new leaf and let us see where we can take that industry and how successful we can make the industry. The agriculture minister told the farmers that their role in the success of the industry is critical and should be taken seriously. The Honorable Minister for Agriculture also met with the farmers of St. Joseph last week. Also this news time, the Ministry of Public Works is undertaking a number of projects to rehabilitate roads in and around the city in preparation for the Roseau Enhancement Project. GIS News spoke with the Minister for Public Works, Dr. John Colin McIntyre, last week as he, along with other members of Cabinet, visited the York Valley Bridge in the Lyle Valley. He says rehabilitation works are targeted at easing traffic in and out of the city. These include work on Charles Avenue and the Botanic Gardens. We're expecting that Charles Avenue will be oiled very soon as well as Pembroke Street in Portsmouth and we can lay the asphalt on it. So I'm expecting that to be done within, to be honest with you, within the course of next week. I, I mean, I'm bold enough to say that I'm going to push for it and as long as the trucks are available, asphalt is not the problem, we will be oiling that road because we want to get these roads open up. Because more importantly for this road as well too is, I'm looking at all the major exit routes out of, out of Roseau to make it much easier during the cruise season and during the, the, the heavy traffic area. If you notice, you notice that the gardens has been closed for a couple of days now because we decided we had to strip these gardens, get it moving and we're going to put down this road in the gardens. We look at the bypass after, very soon after, and also what we want to do is look at the major roads in Dominic and the major bypasses close to Roseau such that we can get this traffic, this ease of the traffic throughout the city. 
He says this work is in preparation for the plans to develop the city. I am preparing for the Rosa Enhancements project. That is why I want to make sure that all the exits are patent, they're smooth, and traffic can flow smoothly. So I think, I think we have some great things happening for Rosa and the environment and for Dominica. There's so much work on this island, a lot, a lot of work, tremendous amount of work. So I urge Dominicans, let's come forward, let's continue to work hard because there are opportunities not only for Dominicans but even for foreigners in Dominica right now based on the blow that Mary has dealt us and the amount of work in this country. Meantime, the Public Works Minister informed that once the challenges of housing, electricity and the installation of an additional cement plant can be surmounted, work will progress on the West Coast Road. The Government of the People's Republic of China has given the Government of Dominica its firm commitment to rehabilitate this highway. Our Chinese friends, they're also working on the West Coast. As you know, they were blasted by Hurricane Maria. The free things affect them on the West Coast right now, which is they're looking at more ideal housing, post Maria experience. We have gotten the Yami Electric City there. It's just a matter of some minor little changes to the site for their, where they're going to be housed. And of course, repairing up the cement plant because cement is in high demand in Dominica. And we don't have enough cement, so we need at least another one, two plants in terms of the development that's required to take this country to the level we want to take it in terms of its resilience as well too. And finally, this news time, the Collio constituency has once again benefited from the government of Dominica's housing renovation program post-Hurricane Maria. Last Thursday, the Honorable Member of Parliament for that constituency, Lady Catherine Daniel, presented a check in the amount of $113,000 to the Collio Village Council. In addition to housing repairs, this amount is also meant to cover the cost of transportation for a period of five months for students attending the Dominica State College in that constituency. One, on behalf of college students attending the college from the constituency, and that's a transportation allowance for them. It's for five months, and so each child will be receiving $900 from that. So that's the check in here. Um, also, I want to hand to the council a check in the amount of, for housing assistance, $93,016.99, which will go to about seven recipients of Colio for renovation of the houses after Maria. And I'm just handing over to the deputy chair of the village council for distribution. Deputy Chairperson of the Collio Village Council, Celia Libla, thanked the Honorable Member of Parliament for the assistance, which she remarked will significantly assist the recipients. On behalf of the Collio Village Council, um, I would like to say a really big thank you to Honorable Catherine Daniel, who is always there to, to assist us. Um, also, on behalf of the students, this check will go a very long way for some of the students who have their own challenges. Um, I really want to thank her because she's been doing all she can, especially for the college students. And when it comes to education, she's always there. Um, Ms. Daniel, I want to thank you on behalf of the council and on behalf of the students who will be receiving these much needed funds. Thank you. And that's it for the English segment of the news. Shakira Pier is up next with Creole Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel accueil, nom de Shakira Pé. Ministre Public Works a fait numéro projet pour réhabiliter Chimé à Ozo en préparation pour le projet là pour faire Ozo garder plus moderne. Nouvel gouvernement parle et puis Ministre Public Works, Honorable Dr. John Colin McIntyre, semaine passée, la I et puis d'autres membres cabinet visité visité Point York Valley en la U Valley. Honorable McIntyre dit que le travail ni pour faire pour faire trafic plus facile à Ozo. Ce travail est là, c'est réhabilitation chimé Jardin Botanique et puis Charles Avenue. Mais cela dit, le travail qui a commencé à associer chimé Sala, Simen Sala, et puis il dit qu'il y a travail pour faire ça possible. Ministre Public Works a dit depuis Charling là et puis a fait kai, électricité et puis addition en plan Sima, le travail à ce chimé IO Libla qui a commencé. Gouvernement se chinoa la va domni ki yon komitma pou rehabilite chime sa la, me twa vay asou chime la te awet apwe siklon Maria. 
At that novel, Minis Agriculture, Maje Epi Pueso, Honorable Reginald Ostri, Kakotine, Asu Pometli, Pujuen Epi Plante, Won Peila, Pudiskite, Manye Pumeni Sector La Duva. Honorable Ostri, Kwe, Changement Necessaire, Pufe Sector La Meye. J'ai dit si men passe, Honorable Ostri, Juen Epi Plante, Bawi. Minis La Dise Plante La, Yo Bouzwe Sorti Hod Model Banan La, Pou Manage Se Zam La. Honorable Ostri di mem kon yuni banan la te etabli pou ba atasyon pou se zam la. Minis Agriculte la ka fe konsiderwasyon pou fe manajman pa patat yam epidashin. Minis la di se plante bawe la mize sa la se yon opportunite pou tan sa yoni pou di. Me mete atasyon asu problem la epi pou twavay pou sektor la avanse. Honorable Ostri di se plante la sa yo ka fe an sektor la ben an porta e pi se pou yo pon twava yo se we. E pi finanman konstituenti koli yo ka kotine pou benefiz hod program ka e apu e siklon Maria. Je di si men pan se man palem apu konstituenti koli yo Honorable Lady Catherine Daniel fe prezentasyon yo chek avale yon san 13 mil dola pou vilaj kongsu koli yo. Chek sa la ke osi wede etudian ki ka atan State College Dominic. Sa ke finanse transportasyon pou sek mwa. Tout etudian ke tape 900 dola pou fe transportasyon pou ale l'ekol posible. 83 mil ke finanse za fe kaya an konstituensi sa la. E pi 7 fami ke benefis hod la jen sa la. Deputy Chef Village Council la, Sile Liblan, wi mesye man parlement la ou kont se constituents la. I di Honorable Daniel toujou ka twavay pou fe sete constituents li benefis. Sa se tout pou nouvel akwe yon, nan mwese Shaki Repair. Au voir. And that's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS on facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and also follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I am Kimani Seja. Thank you for watching.